All right, so you entered this competition and I know you've entered other art competitions in the past. Um, mm -hmm. How did the Lowell Milken Center for Unsung Heroes um, artifact project differ from those ones, from previous ones? Well, this one, well, most of the competitions that I usually enter, they don't necessarily have like a set thing that you have to go by, like a theme or anything like that. So this competition was very interesting because you are actually like choosing from a list of people who have done stuff that have never been recognized until now. Yeah. So that was kind of interesting to me. And then also a lot of the competition that I've entered in, it will probably be based on like a certain type of artwork that you could enter, a certain type of medium that you could enter in for it. So it, was ne it wasn't necessarily like anything based off of history. history. It was always like something where you just enter in artwork and you win something. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. kind of what I liked about this artwork. Yeah, like there's more of a story that goes along with it than yeah. solely the artwork. And actually yeah. on that, I noticed your submission, um, both in your artist statement and then just the artwork itself, there's a lot mm -hmm. of storytelling elements. And is this something yeah. that you strive for in all of your artwork or is this something that you wanted to do specifically with this competition? Yeah, a lot of my artworks, I like to like put meaning behind them. I don't necessarily like just draw anything but like I try to make sure that all my art tells a story not, not it doesn't necessarily have to be about my life but it could be about anything in general just as long as it captivates the reader mm -hmm. um, yeah. and has the unsung hero you picked influenced your life uh, or the way you view life in any capacity today and if so how um I guess I could just say that it helps me be more recognizable of things that are going on. Like, it just helps me like focus on like the history behind things and how things actually like took place and not necessarily paying attention to things that were like done all out in the open since he was actually, the person that I actually like did my research on, he was actually combating the Nazis actions in the shadows. Mm -hmm. So I guess just paying more attention to people who weren't necessarily always recognized, but at the same time, they had some type of legacy that they look on. Yeah, like a lot of history just focuses on the main characters or the people who are yeah. there, not the people working yeah. behind the scenes. Um, you wrote in, um, I think it might be on your website that you mentioned, mm -hmm. or your artist statement, you said you cultivated a passion for drawing at a really young age. Uh, mm -hmm. What like sparked that interest and how have you kept that interest going over the years? So I first started drawing around probably six or seven. I was um, around first grade and I was at home one day and my dad, he had drew Ghost Rider from the movie. And so he drew it and I was like so fascinated by it. I was like, oh, I want to try it out. I want to try huh. it out. So I started like practicing and like coloring it and drawing it. And then from there, it kind of sprung from that to like drawing like horses because I was like really like fascinated by horses too. So I used to draw horses all the time. And then when I got into the APAC program, they kind of enriched me a little bit more and helped me with my art, my arts techniques and skills. And so it kind of like progressed as I got older. Gotcha. So it started mm -hmm. with your parents. Are they, are they both artistic as well? Or is it just your dad or? Oh, my dad, my sister, and a couple of uncles that I have on both sides. That's cool. That's like all mm -hmm. in your family. Yeah. Um, and then I know religion plays like a really large role in your life. Um, does that impact your artwork as well? And if so, how? Um, yeah, I gave my life to Christ when I was seven. So being a Christian, I've kind of learned a lot since I've give, given my life to God. Um, I'm just learning every day, just gaining more wisdom and just trying to be more knowledgeable about things because it really helps you when stuff like this is going on in the world. Yeah. So that impacts me a lot. Gotcha. And I guess that's kind of tied to that, but um, you mentioned wanting to give back to your community and everything using your art. So, oh, yeah. Um, like, why? I mean, I feel like it's kind of clear why everyone wants to represent and support where they came from, but what is it specifically about your community that inspires that? And what do you have in mind specifically? So, I plan on going to college to be an architect. So I want to um, we'll come back to um, Jackson 
and kind of help revitalize the city a bit because we do have a lot of like abandoned buildings or buildings that aren't being used and we have a lot of streets that have a lot of buildings that aren't being like renovated or anything so I kind of wanted to help out my city by revitalizing the city a bit and kind of building back up the city in a way. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. cool yeah um, and then I noticed on your website that you had commission prices um, at what point did you I guess what was the turning point when you were like, oh, art is really cool to turning it into something you're like, oh, I could profit from this and turn this into an actual career. Yeah, so um, there was an incident that happened where <laughs> I had made a um, commission for a woman. She ended up not really liking it. So she was trying to lower the price. Uh -huh. You could say after we had already agreed, like before the artwork was even made, that that would be the price. So she tried to lower the price and everything. And so that kind of really bothered me. And so my art teacher was like, don't do any more commissions until you make a price list. So I got with one of my sister's friends and he helped me out uh, make a price list and reimburse myself for all the different stuff that like I have to like buy again once mm -hmm. I use my materials for that particular artwork. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a funny story. And who are your current art inspirations? Um. I'm really obsessed with Michelangelo because I love awesome. that. I love the fact that he's like skilled in like every different area of like art. Like it's amazing to me, like architecture. He would do designs all the time. He would make sculptures. He drew, he painted just a lot of different things that he was like talented in. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Are there any current art projects that you're working on right now? And if you're comfortable sharing. Yeah. Um, I just recently finished the uh, artwork um, based off of the killing of George Floyd, um, kind of like addressing politics and how the system is so corrupted and stuff. So I did an artwork of that recently and I posted that on my Instagram page. And I was pretty proud of that. Um, I'm planning on doing another project um, based off how religion and politics kind of coincides a bit when it comes to like warfare and this, this idea of spiritual warfare and how we're having like warfare on earth and something like that. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I can dive into that soon. That's cool. That's a, yeah. a topic you can go into for like a yeah. way. Cool. Um, and then you mentioned earlier that with all your artwork, you kind of want to have a story behind it. Um, what mm -hmm. are some of like the major goals you have with your artwork and what are the messages that you want to communicate? Um, I just want people, I will, a lot of times in all my artwork, I make sure that they're like super realistic because I want it to like really encompass like the realism of life, or like nature itself. And so I try to focus on making sure that all my artworks are realistic and detailed because I want people to see detail when they see my artwork. And that's like something that's unique for me. Since I'm like a huge fan of detail, I like my artwork to be in de like detail. Um, I just want people to notice that a lot of my artwork is based on religion because I feel like religion isn't really like a thing that people like, they don't, I'm trying to see how I can say this. They don't really talk about it that much to where like, it's like important, like they kind of like shade it off to this particular thing and make it seem like it's this, but it's really not. And it's more than what they say it is. So I want to give off like a different view of Christianity in a way. Mm -hmm. cool. So that's pretty much my soul goal. Yeah, thanks for joining me today. Awesome, you too.